Greetings YouTube, this video is going to kill a few birds with one stone. So strap your ass in, it's about to get bumpy. Are you defecating into a cantaloupe? Firstly let me say to Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall, your spirit is so big, and I know why it's big, you've been stuffing it full of bullshit again. He basically claimed the 30th of November 2012 was going to be a doomsday, the end of the world as we know it. And nothing major happened, no earth shattering end times event. Epic fail. But now, Brian is claiming that, well, the end times is going to be in a few days time. On the 4th, the 4th of December will be the end times until that doesn't happen. This guy is hilarious. How is this guy not on TV? He claims there's an end times every couple of weeks to couple of months. He claims there's going to be a major shift or something. He claims he's God. And then he can't explain why he got it wrong but there's plenty of idiots like that in the world isn't there congratulations you're human uh dark sky watcher 74 and people like him they pick out so-called proof of naburu or planet x whichever term you prefer whichever idea you have and it's very subjective information, not something they've checked out, not something that someone's gone into great detail into checking out. And they'll just proclaim, that must be what we believe in. Do you see where you go wrong here? You see evidence of something which is an actuality, rather than checking it out and confirming that your idea is a possibility or could even be the actual reality you just say it's Nibiru that ain't proof my friend and this isn't just for the benefit of Dark Sky but for other people as well get your fucking facts in gear because guess what if you don't have solid proof expect very few people to take you seriously. I've got some stuff that would tranquilize an active volcano. Uh, just a request from uh, several people asking me about this issue. Um, I don't block people. There is no point. There is no need. If you were to block someone, they could open up another YouTube in like a minute and then come back to you with that channel. So this is my block list. A long, long list full of all the people I've blocked. And there is no one on there. I mean, I have blocked people in the past, like uh, people who just go around trolling, impersonating people, but I don't bother anymore. There is no point. For God's sakes, close your eyes! I want to play a game. Now meet a real nut. Tila Tequila is basically a a minor celebrity at best, or at least she was. She decided to attention whore by doing anything she could to climb the attention ladder. And her desperation has become so great that she now focuses on conspiracy theories. She's in modelling and acting and she's not a terrible looking girl. After all the stress of her life, thus far, pushing herself has her mind snapped. She has a YouTube channel, Miss Tila Tequila, 
And some of the stuff on there is pretty extreme new age spirituality with paranoid new world order illuminati conspiracy theories she blocks all of her opposition she calls anyone who disagrees a shill a control or a fool and she expects somehow to be taken seriously like so many people she is influenced by certain ideas she comes in contact with and even people in the public arena who have some level of celebrity status can be fooled heavily fooled by ridiculous ideas and that's precisely what has happened with Valtila. Perhaps if she wasn't so manic in her scrambling for attention, her mind would be in a better place, a more rational place, and she could see the conspiracy theories and spirituality she has as being delusional. Alas, she cannot. She ignores her critics, seeing them as being just haters. She continues to allow herself to live in this delusion until eventually the coin will drop. And that dropping coin is the fall of her mind. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore. Ah! Ah! Game over!